Good morning guys and welcome to another reading vlog. So this is going to be the second part of October reading vlog. October has been treating me quite well so far. I mean, I haven't had a whole lot of like standout books, but I have been reading quite a lot. So I definitely not gonna lie, I'm really enjoying that because I feel like I might be able to just like really make a dent in my zero TBR project this month. So that's always a plus. Now today my dad is coming over because he's going to finish my sort of like kitchen project. So I have had this like slight moderations done to the kitchen over the past few years. And so the final one is going to happen now. So so the first thing that was actually done to the kitchen was my dad installed these sort of like cupboards here for my muck collection, which also means that I need to keep my muck collection in um, bounds because as you can see it is full so I cannot have more mugs than that. And then he installed the kitchen tiling over there. Those sunflowers are basically just um, to trap mosquitoes and so don't mind those. But so he installed that um, tiling. That's the second thing that he did then he installed this sort of thing because before that that was basically the way it looked it only had the black part and this is basically where the original cupboard ends but as you can tell i have a faucet over there and so that meant that you know i had to be really careful because it couldn't splash onto my wooden floor over here because that would leave marks as if my cats aren't leaving marks just like that but so that's the last the most recent thing that happened or like it happened together with that so he created a sort of hole over there which is now currently taped shut but that's the idea that he has built a cupboard to go in there because basically that was like a lost space in my kitchen the guys who originally installed the kitchen never informed me about the fact that 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 like um what do you call that? It's like corner piece of the cupboard was going to be empty. It isn't empty on the other side of my kitchen, you know, on like that one. That corner piece isn't empty. You know, I can access it through there and it, it is a real cupboard. But on this side, through there, I cannot access it through there. I cannot exit it. So it's just a lost corner. And so my dad already proposed from the beginning that maybe he could just build me a cupboard in there and so that's going to happen so he's going to put a cupboard there and then i'm going to use that to put those cookbooks in because <laughs> that corner is way too difficult to access so i'm never checking out my cookbooks so those cookbooks will go in there and then probably also like my whiskey glasses because that is basically basically my liquor cabinet cabinets because that is basically my liquor liquor <laughs> Because that is basically my liquor cabinet and so um, it would be nice to have the glasses over there so that I can, you know, pour somebody a glass conveniently from there. In terms of my reading, I finished a book yesterday so I have less going on at the same time but I still have quite a lot going on at the same time, I guess. The main two things that I'm currently reading is I'm reading an arc called Yumi, which I'm hoping to finish either tonight or like tomorrow night. I'm like... 15% away I think from finishing that one and then I'm also rereading Skyward by Brandon Sanderson but that's like not a priority at the moment because I want to make sure that this week I finish my physical TBR for the month of October meaning that I need to finish the Republic of Thieves by Scott Lynch so that's the final book on my TBR that I haven't started or finished yet and so that's kind of be my goal for this week and then hopefully next week I can kind of like mood read <laughs> and I'm very much looking forward to that. So that is the temporary results. My dad is still gonna change something about this you know um, finishing so there's still gonna be like a new finish around it at some point but so now <laughs> kind of have to barricade this with a cardboard box to prevent my cats from going there because like the silicones are still drying so they cannot get into the cupboard and i'm sure my cats will try Set 
So something else arrived yesterday because I got my advent calendar. <laughs> so I already had that one, which I showed you guys in the previous clip. So I have the rituals one and I just couldn't wait until next year to get this one. Basically, both of these have been kind of advent calendars that I wanted to try out at some point. And I decided to buy the bullets, spend my money and, you know, get both of them. So the rituals one is like just under a hundred. This one is over a hundred. So they're really not cheap. I will definitely tell you guys that. But so in December, I will be opening these ones up. So this one is basically a muesli. Do you pronounce it like that in English? Um, advent calendar, but it has like a mix. So this specific one has a mix of like muesli. It has granola in there. It has porridge in there. It has like toppings or like, like chocolate balls. It has like bliss balls in there as well, as well as some sort of like, you know, um, like a cup to put it in and things like that. So I'm expecting the first day you're gonna get like a cup or something, or it is relatively small, so maybe not. But somewhere in there, there are also these extra things. But so yeah, it's getting like, I'm getting more and more excited for Christmas because of, you know, these things arriving. I also have a Christmas gift for one of my family members that is arriving today. So I'm already starting the preparations, making sure that I have my gifts in time and so that I have like a stress-free lead up to Christmas because the week before Christmas, I am home the entire week and I don't want to be like, I don't want to have to struggle to get my gifts still at that point in time. At that point in time, I want to be like fully ready, fully prepared for Christmas and so like fully indulged in like baking cookies, reading, having cozy reading nights, you know, all of those things. So I want to make sure that I get things done in time this year. Hey guys, I haven't talked to you guys in forever, it seems like. But so, this week I've been reading The Republic of Thieves by Scott Lynch. And so this is the third book in the series, so I cannot say like a whole ton about it. But I have definitely been enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need to shower because my hair is like really greasy at the moment, so don't mind that. But, um... So I've been enjoying The Republic of Thieves so far because it kind of goes back to the original structure of the first book where, you know, the first book had those sort of like dual timeline stuff. <laughs> I should really stop touching the hair because it's not going to go in any sort of interesting direction, clearly. Um, but so that first book has sort of this like dual timeline in which you had like the timeline in which they're basically kind of forming the gentleman bastards and in which the gentleman bastards are basically getting trained and then we had like the present day timeline and so present day timeline of course is moving along throughout those three books um but so in the second one we didn't really have a past timeline we had one but it was like like two years in the past rather than at the time in which they were training but now we once again have that sort of like past training timeline and so i'm really enjoying that it's also diving into a character that we've kind of hinted at but that we haven't seen up until this point so i'm really enjoying that so far but i do will do still feel like i enjoyed the first one the most and that the first one really has my heart and that since then the other books has kind of been like less than what the first one was able to do. So we'll just have to see. Hopefully I'll feel differently by the time that this one kind of ends off, by the time it rounds off. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's missing something. There's something about that first book that is missing in the other ones. Hey 
Hey guys, all of a sudden it's Monday. I don't think I really updated you guys throughout the weekend. But so on Saturday I finished The Republic of Thieves, which is my second favorite book in that series so far. So I really enjoyed The Lies of Locke Lamora. And even though I gave it four stars, I think it's like really more like 4.5 or something like that. There was just like one tiny problem I had with it, structurally speaking. But I really like that sort of build up. I really like the sort of like high spot. I like the ending to that one a whole lot. Um, and the stakes to that one definitely as well. But then I was a little bit disappointed with the second one. And now this third one definitely got a little bit better compared to the second one. I feel like that structural difference between the two timelines that was introduced in the first one and then kind of flopped in the second one for me was done really solidly in this third one. Basically the best it's been done. Because we basically have a real solid like dual timeline that throughout the book is going to be alternating and throughout the book makes sense. So there really are two strong timelines and they have a progression towards the book. Whereas I feel like in the first one where we also had that at some point the past timeline kind of didn't really stir didn't really have an overarching plot anymore. It was just serving as background information that you were being given to that storyline but so in this case there are two very solid si timelines and they really are solidly built up and brought to conclusion but apart from that i will say that you know for like two thirds of the book or anything like that i was less than invested i was like i was reading it and i was enjoying it and it wasn't like i was really struggling with it but i was also not always paying attention to the audio and uh, especially when it came to the theater sections of this book i found myself kind of zoning those sections out a little bit but then when we got towards the ending then of course i was fully invested again but so as a result i still think that this is more like a 3.5 star for me than uh, a four or anything like that so first one stays the most solid book in the series in my opinion and so i think that that is also in part because of the way that it ended it just ended too perfectly but also i really like that heist too much i feel like since book one too much of the storylines have been about you know them being at the mercy of others and whereas in the first one it definitely was also the case to some extent we did have a pretty large section of the book in which they were their own agents and they were, you know, putting up their own highs. They were in control of their own destinies. And so I felt like we kind of lost some of that agency in the second and third book, where there was, in my opinion at least, much more of a focus on of them trying to get out from under somebody else's scheme. So that has been my reading so far. On Sunday I did read a little bit further into Skyward, but I didn't get a whole lot done in the weekend in that book, so uh, not a whole lot has happened when it comes to the rest of my reading. Because on Sunday I was away for the entire day, so I will have some b-roll, but not a whole lot, because I was out with friends for the first time in a very long time, and I just wanted to be fully there. So we went to basically an ancient mine site, and so those old buildings have been reclaimed for other purposes, and so we went uh, snorkeling over there, and then we also afterwards went to a restaurant. And so the snorkeling was very fun. I think my wetsuit was a little bit too big because there was too much water getting into it, and so at some point it got really cold. Um, but aside from that, I really liked doing it because it was like a 10 meter deep tank, and there were like fish put in there. And like the first second I was like, wait, is that a shark? Of course it wasn't a shark, but it was a really pretty, there were some pretty big fish in there, you know. But so that was pretty nice and it also had like, you know, a car in there, for example, or like a beach hut. There were like things in the water that you could then explore and you could also go deep diving there. But of course we didn't, but we didn't do that. But so you could also see like the divers down below who were exploring all the things that you can see in there. But so yeah, that's what I did yesterday and then... Um, we are now entering the final week of the month of October, and in this week I have no TBR book to read anymore. I finished my TBR by finishing The Republic of Thieves, so this week I can basically just pick up whatever I want. First order of business to some extent is going to be Skyward, so I don't necessarily feel like I need to finish it like today or tomorrow. Um, or like I can only, like I'll finish that one and only then jump into something else. 
But I think like tonight I might probably still focus quite a bit on Skyward. But maybe I also want to continue in a secret TBR book that I'm listening to on audio. And then just read a little bit in that book every day of the week. But I won't be talking about that in this particular vlog. But so those are the two books that I kind of know I want to get around to this week. So I want to finish Skyward. But I am like over the midway point at this point in time. So um, that shouldn't be a problem. And then I want to finish that secret TBR book. And then on Saturday, I'm thinking about doing a 24 hour readathon, which will also be a separate vlog. But aside from that, let's just see what else I'll be picking up this week. Hey guys. Hey guys, it is a Wednesday afternoon. I really need to get a haircut because it's really getting to be like a very annoying length now <laughs> where it's just like constantly wrong. Or like I constantly feel like it's not looking great. So I have basically barely been doing any reading. So tonight we're gonna change that. I need to edit one video and then I hopefully will be spending a lot of my time reading tonight. So I still only have like Skyward going and then I actually also have like Desperate Measures going which is an audiobook that I've got going at the moment which is like a smutty romance novel. So I basically only have those two going at the moment, but I do still want to do an arc. And ideally, as I said, I want to do that book that I've been, uh, you know, that has kind of been on hold for quite a while for a secret TBR video. So I'm starting to think that this extra week is not going to happen because I'm just going to let it fly by without <laughs> investing any time in reading. But we'll just see. I mean, it is still only Wednesday, meaning I've only had two evenings this week so far. And both evenings I've gone like, like not like, like I've done like super amount of things, but like on Monday I went to the doctor to discuss like the lactose intolerance thing. And so starting today I'm going on a lactose free diet for two weeks and then I'll have a lactose filled diet for two weeks and then we'll see the difference. So I'm kind of keeping like a food log at the moment to see what I've been eating and then also what symptoms I've been having. Um, so to see whether there's a correlation or not. And then on Tuesday I had then my physical therapy appointment, which I have every week. And then I also had the Buffy watch along. So definitely yesterday I didn't have a whole lot of time also because I still needed to edit a video. So basically Monday I wasted my evening and on Tuesday I just didn't have enough time in the evening to do everything I wanted to do. But so tonight I'm going to be reading I hopefully. I need to prepare some HelloFresh but I can combine that with the audiobook for Desperate Measures even though I don't know how fun it is to read a smutty romance while cooking. But hey, we'll see. Of the future. Hey guys, I have not been the best vlogger this week, I feel like, but so yesterday I went to our Zaventem office. So I usually work at the Leuven office, but of course I haven't been in for a very long time. I mean, I went once last week, for example, but we also have another office closer to Brussels and I went in there. But on my way back, I basically just took like the random bus because I was kind of starting to worry that I had missed the bus that I was actually waiting for. And the bus that I took, I shouldn't have taken because it took like forever for it to get back. And because it was like going through like these small streets and so I had to take a lot of turns and stuff like that, I also couldn't read while uh, taking the bus because I just start to feel sick a little bit. So yay for me for that. But in any case, I guess I got to see quite a little bit of the suburbs in Belgium that way but so I did finish stars no not starside I finished skyward yesterday but I really enjoy skyward a whole lot I really think it has just such a nice build to it and you know the character work there I just think is very well handled I think it's very well plotted very well fleshed out and you know the the I just really love mbot I really got to remember my love for Embot a lot through this uh, reread. But so in any case, finished Skyward. I also continued on a little bit with Desperate Measures. I don't know whether I already talked about it, but I'm also listening to Desperate Measures, which is basically smutty romance. And I gotta say that I'm... <sighs> I, could, I should just DNF it at this point, but I'm like 
an hour away from finishing it and so I do want to kind of see how they resolve it but on the other hand I feel like it's just so typical to a lot of these cases where you have like BDSM romance where there's just a sort of like feeling that the other person doesn't care about them at all that he is not affected or that you know he um kind of just considers her to be a puppet or whatever and you know that that is not the case and that's that is what they need to resolve by the end of the book they need to figure out that there's actually true affection between each other and so i'm okay with the smut scenes even though i must say that they aren't really doing it for me neither i think because of the fact that there's also daddy kink involved in this book so basically i'm not much i'm not getting anything out of this book and so i should have just stopped it straight away but the first smut scene didn't have daddy king to it so i did like that one but afterwards yeah and now i'm just going through the motions i guess of continuing this book as i said i only have like an hour uh, and 10 minutes i think left in the audiobook and i'm also listening to 1.2 speed so i have less than an hour to listen to uh it's fine i will be completing it but i will not be continuing with it <sighs> all right jesus guys if i look bedraggled it is because i feel it <laughs> so i went to the city center to get some pants i did find like one sort of like decent pair of pants and then one pair of jeans and then i also ordered one of those that jeans in like a different color as well um so that's pants sorted um and then but like I had to try on so many pants because, you know, my size has changed and so I had to figure out the correct size and things like that. And, you know, also, I don't know why so many pants are like ankle height these days. I want my pants to just be regular length. So a lot of the ones that I was trying out turned out to be too short, for example. So, you know, I was getting super heated from doing that while wearing a fucking mask the entire time. So I was like, okay, I really need to go back home and just like relax for the rest of the day. But then I also realized like, okay, so I'm supposed to go to my parents tomorrow. And then I was supposed to go to the movie as well in the afternoon. And But I am not feeling great. I have a sore throat. And while I definitely don't feel like I need, like, I feel like I can do whatever I want, um, without any problem of course there is the possibility that that symptom isn't just a cold that it would have been covid for example so i decided to go to the pharmacy to get a self-test for covid and then of course klutz as i am i have destroyed the first test by dropping the liquid so i had to go back to the pharmacy again to get a second covid test but so my covid test has sat here for long enough now and i just have the one line so the control line I don't have the other line, so it's negative. So I'm going to assume that it's just that cold that has been going around. You know, there's a whole lot of cold at the moment. So I feel safe enough to go and visit my family tomorrow. So <sighs> it's just general crappiness, not COVID. It would have been really nice if COVID could have like like symptoms that didn't like almost completely coincide with cold symptoms. <sighs> Now it is like three o'clock. I can finally relax, sit down and read a book. I'm going to be continuing in The Other Man. So I don't know. I don't think I've talked to you guys. About, ah, okay, my shoulder. So I don't think I've talked to you guys about this book yet, but um, The Other Man is basically an Indian queer story. don't know yet whether it's like really a romance or whether it's more like general fiction. I would say it's kind of romance. But, you know, I'm not far enough in yet to really know the direction of this story, I guess. But so in it, we are following this sort of like businessman. His name is Ved. And he's basically part of this sort of like super, um, super, super, what do you call it? Super. Eh successful he is part of this like successful business that is basically family business it was his father who built it up and so he's like next in line to inherit basically this sort of like business so he takes his work very seriously he spends all of his time basically at work his parents kind of created a sort of like shockwave when they divorced which in india isn't really or at least wasn't really um 
well regarded or wasn't very acceptable. So her mother, his mother kind of became a sort of like persona non grata within social circles. And she is very much kind of hounding him to settle down and to get married to somebody. However, he is actually gay, but he is not out as being gay. He is also dealing with the sort of like sense... He's also dealing with the sort of like fallout of a breakup. Um, he's very much still in love with the person he was with at that time and that person broke up with him in order to settle down and enter into a traditional marriage. In the background of the stories and also the fact that they are at the brink of um, rescinding a sort of article in law that makes homosexuality a criminal activity. So they're at the brink of making homosexuality legal in India. And so that's where we're at so far. At this point in time, he's just given in to his mother's demand, gone out on a date with somebody, and to his own surprise, this date actually went relatively well, and he actually had no trouble talking to this girl, or he didn't have any sort of complaints about her. And so we'll see what ends up happening from here. Hey guys, so um, it is the 1st of November, so I'm going to be rounding off this vlog. I don't know, I don't think I talked to you guys a whole lot in the final week of the month, but so I got to percent 72 in the other man yesterday really enjoying that one so far um and so basically it is annoying me as well because basically this guy is entering into an arranged marriage with a woman but basically he doesn't really have the intention to enter into that marriage he is basically just like he couldn't really make up a good enough excuse to his mother and so he was kind of just like going along with the flow and then just like constantly um, thinking like, yeah, I can still, you know, end this entire engagement. I can still um, get out of this. But um, he's basically just like too anxious about coming out, about, you know, sharing his real self with his family. And so rather than uh, face up to that, because he's just not ready for that, he's just getting sucked up into this whole affair that now he's getting deeper and deeper into without find without figuring out a way out of it. So it is annoying me to the sense that, you know, I don't stand by the idea of him entering into this engagement and potentially hurting this woman that he is um, leading on that way. And on the other hand, because there's just so much lying involved, uh, not saying that I never lie, but, you know, honesty is the best policy is basically kind of my, like, life motto. And so this is a very annoying book in that sense, because he's constantly lying to the people around him. Um, but on the other hand, I do definitely like it. And I like that sort of like entire Indian setting to the story. And I like the fact that we're getting a story like that, a story about queer romance within India, where at least at the time, in where at least within the story itself, it was illegal. And, you know, as I said, there's a background of potentially no longer of potentially getting rid of the illegality of um, homosexual relationships. But so at least during the main bulk of the story so far, it is still illegal. And so it is an important story to tell in that respect, you know, about the way that that aspect to things complicates the lives of homosexuals. And so I really am enjoying it so far. But as I said, it's just annoying me to some extent. You know, whenever he's adding just like another lie, another layer of lying to the story, and you're like, oh no, but this is just gonna totally backfire against you at some point within this story. But so I'm enjoying that one. And then yesterday I also went to see June. And so I enjoyed that one a whole lot. I think it's like visually super pleasing. I will say that like there this movie goes from like quiet to super loud so many times that I don't know whether that's just like the cinema and the volume that they put on, but that to some extent made me kind of resented from time to time. From time to time I was like, okay, like stop it with the shock value of your music. But aside from that, I thought it was a really interesting one and I really enjoyed it a whole lot and I really want to continue on with it. Definitely can see the fact that it is very much inspired by Arabian culture. Uh, and so in that sense, yes, it would have been a lot nicer if there were also Arabian actors used within the storyline. In terms of the sort of like white savior aspect, I can kind of understand why people would say that because of course our protagonist who's white is basically considered to be like potentially the one, the chosen one. But aside from that, I do think that it's 
pretty clear, or at least from my perspective, it was pretty clear that they are coming there as colonizers, that they are not the good guys within this story. They are not the people that we should be like rooting for without questioning their behavior. We should definitely not be um, condoning the fact that they are there and that just because they want to do things differently, they don't want to just subjugate the, the freemen, I think their name was, uh, and just like treat them as slaves more or less or eradicate them. That just because they don't want to go to those lengths, they are all of a sudden the good guys. That is definitely not the case. Uh, or that shouldn't be the case in any case, but I do see that it walks a very fine line. And so in that sense, depending on how the story progresses and things like that, it could definitely indeed go down that white savior route. You know, I haven't read the source material. Um, I don't actually know whether I want to read Dune at any point, because even though I enjoyed this movie, I still, for some reason, think that I'm not going to enjoy this book. So we'll just see. It's like not not a priority. So it probably like if it ever happens, it'll be like years down the line, I guess. But so yeah, really enjoyed June, and so I have day off now. First of November is a day off here in Belgium, and so I had a good lie in, and now it's like ten o'clock or so, and I'm gonna start my day. But so yeah, that was it for this reading vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and see you guys for the next one. Bye.